how does the Valorant rank system work? In this video, I will talk about what makes you rank up 30 points compared to 10, and the hidden MMR as well as RR, as well as newer versus older accounts. So to rank up or down no matter what your KD is, is if you win or lose. If you're top frag, it also doesn't mean that you're gaining the most RR. What actually makes you gain or lose a lot or a little is your combat score. Now how does your combat score work? Basically, it's how much damage you did and how important the kill was to win the round. For example, clutching a 2v1 will boost your combat score much higher than having your whole team alive and you get that last kill because you were looking for it. The damage you do is also important. You can have the most kills, but if most are from players who were one tap, you're not really gonna get a higher combat score. Another helpful thing in making you rank up is your assists, whether that's through helping with your abilities or dealing damage to the enemy. Usually around 3 assists equal a kill, so if you have 8 more assists than the top frag and you're like 2 kills behind, you will still likely get match MVP. Also, staying alive longer will also boost your combat score. Of course, other factors like the value of the kills I talked about before contribute. So does getting a 13-0 and an 11-13 make a difference? Well, yes, but if you were doing really well and your team still got blown out, you will lose a lot less. Even if it's like a 13-4, 13-3, and you're actually the match MVP, you can probably lose less than 10 RR. KD is more important than how bad you lost or won, but again, if you win or lose in the first place, it determines if you even get the points. Now, after a certain point of being hard stuck and carrying your team match after match, you could actually get a free rank up to the next rank, like a bronze one to a silver one. This only happens when it's clear that you're a smurf or you're too good for the rank. Something as crazy as going 30-11 every match for 45 matches. New accounts also kind of benefit from this, because your first few matches on that account in ranked literally determines your rank. So if you do good, even if you lose, the system will boost you up some ranks just because you're new. Again, this is only if you're going smurfing numbers. Within like 5-6 to six matches as a smurf in rank, you're probably only going to be a rank below your main account anyways, so the system works really well. Next, let's talk about hidden matchmaking rating. Hidden MMR is a system where like if you're silver you will get placed in gold instead of bronze lobbies. This is usually because the system looks at your previous history to see how good you actually are. The actual rank you're in doesn't determine what teammates or enemies you get. So if you were in gold last act, you would get placed in silver this act. You would likely get matched with previously gold players. If you were bronze last act and you're silver now, you would, you would likely get placed with previously bronze players. All this is to try to make rank as fair as possible, as many players as many, as many players don't belong in their zone rank. The hidden MMR works really similar to the regular rating, except that they match you with players of similar hidden MMRs instead of the zone rank. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and have a good day.